David Wood, what is the meaning of Islam? The word Islam means submission. Okay, uh, okay, so that's the meaning of Islam, right? Okay, what about a Muslim? Who is a Muslim? A Muslim is one who submits. Okay, so Islam means submission. Well, if Islam means submission, what type of submission are you talking about here? Submission here refers to submission to Allah, the Arabic word for God. Okay, so submission here refers to submission to Allah the Arabic term for God. Beloved, once again, I greet you and I welcome you to Lost in Media. My name is Boche Steven and you know for sure that whenever I get in my seat here, it's about we dismantling those several assertions that has been made against Christianity since time immemorial. Well, if you really want to study much about Islam, you have to link me up or you have to be following these uh, websites of David Wood, Sam Shamoon, uh, J. Smith, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, I'll be getting to him and surely you're going to study a lot about Islam. David Wood is actually going to give a gist about Islam. I'll be getting to him. Islam isn't like other religions. Yes, other religions teaches that um, it's the perfect religion and thus if anybody chooses to follow them they are ready or they are available but islam tells you hey you these are the way the ways via which you can become a muslim and you are uh, you stands in front of them and shakes your head no i'm not ready to do this and they will tell you masa in islam uh, we do not tolerate that nonsense excuse me to say by hook or crook you have to become a muslim it's by force you have no choice to decide of what, on whether or not you will love to become a Muslim. Well, David Wood is actually going to help us uh, with some understanding about Islam. Quick break and we're returning. You welcome back, beloved. Uh, surely uh, may God bless you and greetings to everybody. Make sure to help us in subscribing to the channel. Go to the comment section, drop your comments for us and also drop your likes there for us. And make sure to help in sharing this program across uh, the globe. Well, quick, quickly, shall we go to David Wood? David Wood, what is the meaning of Islam? The word Islam means submission. Okay, uh, okay. So that's the meaning of Islam, right? Okay, what about a Muslim who is a Muslim a Muslim is one who submits okay so Islam means submission well uh, what does it mean um, what if, if Islam means submission what type of submission are you talking about here submission here refers to submission to Allah the Arabic word for God okay so submission here refers to submission to Allah the Arabic term for God well okay meaning a person must by hook or crook Submit to Allah. I think uh, someone told me that or some researchers says that uh, Islam means total submission. It isn't mere submission. Well, David, what do you say about this? But Islam doesn't just tell you that you must submit to Allah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this uh, this affirms uh, my research, the research I uh, the research I did. Okay, according to David Wood, yes, it doesn't. Uh, Islam doesn't teach you uh, that you must submit to Allah okay doesn't teach you just that you must submit to Allah okay but how does it teach you it tells you how you must submit to Allah oh, okay so it isn't according to your own decision or your own way but how you must the how is taught you by Islam or by Muslims they don't just tell you to submit to Allah but they tell you how you must submit to Allah. Wow. Okay. What next? You submit to Allah by unquestioningly obeying the commands of Allah found in the Quran. Okay. So that's the how. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's Quranic reference. He gave Quran 33 verse number 36. Okay. Um, what next? So you submitting to Allah and you have no questions to query. You don't have to query any question. You just have to go by whatever command uh, the Quran gives you or by the, the, the Imam or the Sheikh or Islam gives you okay okay so uh, and what else and the teachings and example of islam's prophet muhammad found in the hadith 
Okay, uh, after this, I have some comment to run. What next? And the teachings and example of Islam's prophet, Muhammad, found in the Hadith. Oh, okay. So, those two are the basic requirements. And I think we call, we, we ended up here. And I think in the next section, or second section, we're actually going to see those uh, requirements. The core practices, uh, which are the five pillars, and also the core beliefs, which are the six articles of faith. Well, well, well. But I think uh, there is something boggling my mind over here. Okay, there is something boggling my mind over here. According to Islam, if a person becomes a Muslim, or what is it, if a person is in Islam, that person should be the one who admit that Muhammad is a prophet. La ilaha illallah wa Muhammadan Rasulallah. La ilaha illallah. What that is and Muhammad Muhammad Rasulullah and Muhammad is Allah's prophet Allah is one and Muhammad is his prophet so if anyone who submits is a Muslim as Muslims do sometimes stipulate then how can or how could Jesus be a Muslim when when he never ever uh, recited uh, that Shahada when he never ever said or state, stated that Muhammad was Allah's prophet. He just never said this. Moses never did this. Adam never did, did this. So if you claim that anyone that submits is a Muslim, you don't know what you're talking about, Muslims. You don't know what you're talking about. I've ever heard uh, Nuruddin Ajir, okay, when we were having a debate at uh, Pizet Adum, that's exactly what he said. That anyone who submits is a Muslim. So if you know you submit, you are under submission everywhere, you are a Muslim. But it is never true. So do you tell me that the traditionalist is a Muslim, like those that are poor, libation, and they all submit. Okay? They all submit. And are they Muslims? When did they ever uh, recite Kalima to Shahada? This really means Muslims, whenever you are choked, you try your possible best to find a way to jump. Uh, okay, jump uh, out of the window. Well, we call it today. We ended up here and we continue some other time. Yes, we are actually going to delve into the core practices and also the core beliefs. Okay, Islam doesn't just tell you that you must submit to Allah, but it tells you how you must submit to Allah. And the ways by which a person submits to Allah, I think the core beliefs and the core practices are actually going to reveal them. And the Vidur is going to help in, in, in so doing. Well, we ended up here and we continue some other time. Uh, seriously, there is an end to everything we're doing over here on Earth. We are informative beings. We carry information wherever we go. And without us, there wouldn't be the happiness of events in several lot of countries. Religions are superfluous in our countries, in our world. But how can people study a lot and how can they get or attain some knowledge about all religions? That's exactly what we're doing over here. Most especially being a Christian and Christian apologist, I intend to always express my view in regards to what even uh, the religion that has been rival to Christianity since time immemorial are set, that is Islam. And on this program, we uh, present reasonable polemics against authentic historic Islam and we created the awareness that indeed Christ descended purposely for man's redemption. We cannot do this without you. That's the exact reason we want a sponsorship. Yeah, you can help uh, with the provision of machines so we can go out there for uh, debates and all that and uh, during this debate you know for sure something uh, miraculous happens sometimes uh, people actually learn a lot and even if the muslim has questions sometimes they cannot confront you while you are here on the show but if we go out there for a program seriously they can ask several lot of questions and we help heal several many wounds you, you can you can help uh, with anything, anything that can help propagate the efficacious gospel of Christ. And I think there are some specific people in our world today who are into this uh, kind of sponsorship works, and that is uh, Brother Dan Owusu Esiam. <laughs>
And may God richly bless you for what actually did for us. And it, it actually told us for sure that you uh, do follow this program and you love it. You love the propagation of the fictitious gospel. And also, Brother Ken Bainey, may God bless you. And as well, Mr. COD, uh, Mr. Peter, Uncle Sam of Toronto, Canada, uh, Ghana House, Mr. Edu, we need your sponsorship. Specifically, I've mentioned your name because I actually know what you're doing in the system. And whosoever, if you, wherever you are, you can pick up the contact uh, that is emerging on your screen and contact, communicate us so you can discuss with that what actually you would love to help with. May God richly bless you. Your sponsorship is needed.